you, Tommy. Thomas Angelo, Detective Norman. You alone. <laughs> no self-respecting badges coming in here unless it's the health inspector. What can I get you? Ah, just the coffee. Thanks. Dip your beak. No, thanks. Suit yourself. So, you yeah. said on the phone you might have a proposition for me. That's right. But if you're looking to set up a gravy train, you called the wrong cop. I'm not looking for any uh, associates. Good. Because I'm on the nut. Can't even pay for the coffee. But I got plenty to trade. Well, let's hear it. How long you been in town? Three years. Caught my teeth in Empire Bay. Well, they handed you the Morello case. Right out of the gate. That's what the paper says, ain't it? And what's it to you? Tough break. Case must be getting pretty cold by now. Or you got something might warm it up. Yeah, I might have some. And what's my end of the deal? Uh, you want money? Some sort of immunity? None of that. I got people I need to protect. Ah, families. Always the Achilles heel, ain't it? So who you got? A sick ma or a wife and a litter of kids? Wife and daughter. And no one else to watch your back, I'm guessing. Wouldn't be here otherwise. Pity that. Pa always said a man needs friends if he's going to survive in this world. Yeah. Well, in my world, it's the other way around. No surprise there. Look, I can't promise anything for your family, not until I hear what you're trading. So, are you talking? Or are you just killing time before they come for you? You think I'm on the run? <laughs> oh, I know it, Tommy. Jesus, look at you. Surely gassed. You haven't slept for days. And your neck's got to be aching from all that looking over your shoulder you're doing. No, the way I figure it is you got someone powerful mean on your tail and they ain't giving up until you end up in the river. And you walk out that door without me, we both know you're not making it five steps. Boss. Yeah, you stick around, you tell me your story, and maybe you got a shot at living long enough to walk that girl of yours down the aisle. Either way, it looks like I'm buying you a cup of coffee. Chris, I don't know how everything got so balled up. No one ever sees the hair pen until it's too late. But you didn't get handed a heater in the nursery, did you? No. I was a cab driver back in 30. I mostly drove nights, because the money was better. It was at the end of one of those shifts, when I first met Polly and Sam. Shit! here. What for? You want a little something from the Don or not?
compensation for your services, any damage to your car. This makes us square. I'm sure it's more than enough. Good. Don Silieri wants you to know that he's very grateful. So if you ever need anything, maybe a loan, or some honest work, don't hesitate to ask. Don doesn't forget his friends. Yeah, okay, thanks. <sighs> One more thing. This matter stays between us. Anyone asks where you got that money, you wanted it at poker. Scratches on your car. You swerved. To keep from hitting a little old lady. You got it? Nah, of course. See you around, kid. When I open the envelope, I could have had a heart attack. Enough to fix the cap. <laughs> Nearly enough to buy a new one. I thought about what Sam said about work. I wasn't interested. The money was good, sure, but... I didn't want to get in with criminals. Better to be poor and alive than rich and dead. So, right there, back then, I was out. How you doing, pal? You remember me? Yeah? Huh? Mr. Morello's a little bent. Shouldn't go helping Salieri's goons, huh? I'm gonna have to give you a beating. Just so you always remember who runs this town. Make it so you won't do much rocking for a while, eh? <laughs> Look at this guy. I didn't think he'd make it fun. Let's get him. How you doing, kid? Dino, Lou. You got business with the Don? Nah, we just trying to talk to that cabbie over there, that's all. That right. Yeah. Well, this here's the Don's favorite driver. So anything you got to say to him, you can say to me. Is that right? Well, I'll tell you something, pal. We ain't leaving empty-handed, that's for sure. Well, then maybe you ain't leaving at all. Okay, then. See your boys around. Let's go, Lou. <laughs> Thanks. At least we could do. Come on. Let's go say hi to the Don. Don Silieri? Yeah. He's gonna want to hear about this. Call you, son. Thomas. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi. That's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm gonna set you up with a small loan, enough to get that cab of yours fixed up. I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. Then what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. 
You're going to ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. So smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. And Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Bagona Vincenzo! Ciao, Polly! Oh, she's gonna sing! <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelou. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick! <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Hey, genius! <laughs> Get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> See, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the to, to town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> one day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morello... He's a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. There's a lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy?
They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Take a seat. And it's collection day, boys. So Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. We'll make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bill's still due, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through, reach inside, easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. Ah, Tom! Tom, I, I took what? Jesus Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? And don't come back, or you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Phil. They're trying to beat information out. I gotta get you to a doctor. Uh, I can wait. Get Sam out of there. Okay. Okay, just hang on. Sam. Oh, they really went to work on you, buddy. Christ. Uh, come on. You'd be all right. You're tough as nails. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got the money, Tom. Oh, catch the bastard. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. Didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street. Taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner. What are the odds? It felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, I wasn't like that. Back then, Celieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Celieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy. He scared him to look in the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. We I hear it. Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You're driving with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Tom... Tom Morello, I, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. 
Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 no sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. It's, grills will dump us all. I mean, I got a cousin, I got... <laughs> <laughs> On your tail, pal. You got the informant right there says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I'm Don Square. Well, maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Well, maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh, huh. the run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We were running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect small time. But I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Tommy, thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. Mm. I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. He wants something to happen to the driver. Can't find him. Morello's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's a ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right? right? You, you, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is, then look someplace else while you turn the key. Yeah, like Bobby already. Sure. Then there's this other guy, Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back, and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. But Bobby comes off shift at 1.30, and then the next guy, he's an ass. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. Okay, she's done. Thanks, Lucas. I gotta get back before anyone catches on. Go easy with her. 
She's gonna misbehave. Hey, tell Mr. Salieri I'm always available for this kind of work. I do stuff for a lot of people, but I always know where I stand with you guys. Hot cars, getaways, anything for the right price. Let's just hope Salieri's guy wins tomorrow. For all our sakes. Okay. Drive careful. So Sam walks out of the bathroom, and I'm praying he's got a piece on him, because I'm not sure the bartender's gonna hand over what he owes. And his two sons, they're inching closer. I can hear them cracking their knuckles. They're both seven feet tall, built like brick shit houses. What were you carrying? My dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This crazy bastard, he waltzes out of the bathroom, just starts pissing all over the joint. <laughs> really? What, he didn't call the cops? Nah. Sometimes you just gotta make them think you're crazy. <laughs> Tom, you got the moment? No. Jeffrey, you've got a bit of a situation. Is the boss okay? Oh, yeah, it's nothing like that. Mikey Dunn, our driver. Some of Morello's guys roughed him up pretty good last night. Broke his arm, broke his jaw, sent him to the hospital. Jesus. Yeah, tough a locker for Mikey. Anyway, you're going to race for him. Wait, what? Frank, Tom, I don't know. It's a half hour before the starting gun goes off, so this is not a discussion. The Don wants to win, but more importantly, he wants Morello to lose. And you, are our best wheelman. Otherwise, I'd be talking to someone else. Yeah. Okay, Frank. Good. Rafi has the car gassed and ready. Get to the track right away. Tommy, there's <laughs> our winner. Hey, Tom, just want to thank you for stepping in like you did. I had six months rent riding on that race. I'd be homeless now if not for you. I just did what the Don asked, Lucas. Well, you gotta let me find a way to repay you. Stop by my garage when you get a chance. I might have a line on something that'll turn a buck for you. Sure, thanks. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Tom. You made us all a lot of money today. And Morello's gonna be picking up pennies off the sidewalk for weeks. <laughs> hey, what about the European? He's probably wearing cement boots by now, the poor bastard. <sighs> Here. You earned every dollar of this. Take your girl out somewhere nice. Thanks, boss. Up, boys. You got a girl, right? I don't want you blowing all that on booze and horse. Huh? Nah, but, uh... Maybe I'll buy my ma a new coat. <laughs> Good boy. Go get yourself a drink. Congratulations, big hero. Nah, I just got luckies off. Well, I had my money on the other guys, so... Drinks are on you. Oh. <laughs> there. Now you're ready for the pictures. Thanks. And hey, when you're done celebrating, you might want to go find your buddy, Polly. He's so drunk, he's going to get hit by a parked car. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll get him home safe. Cow says moo, and the chicken says quack. What does the bird say? I don't know, but the security guy back there says you got to go home. That's an asshole. You should show some respect. Well, that's true, but I'm saying you got to go home, too before you resurface the pit lane. Well, okay then. I guess. Well, let's go, Jim. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, I ask maybe a small favor, huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah? <laughs> The way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. 
Yeah, she's uh, she's a tough. There's this uh, pack of boys who need her place. Uh, the punks, you know, cativera guys. They, they talk a blue, make advances. Sarah, she's gonna speak at the mind. Or maybe she says a samba thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you're working at home, this is a reminder of this punk. She's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, the time is to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is. Uh, Tom's gonna take you. That right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine. If it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. Darling, are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Tommy! Good right hook, I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place, I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off or what? I wonder when you didn't bite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You wanna pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Don. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Well, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. That right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. And I would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So, one day, she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because... she was an ugly... jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but... it'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. 
Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Miss up, though. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Hey, hey. Here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get us out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! I wanna pop him, Tom. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. Piss them out. This one's finished, too. <sighs> oh, Christ, Tom. Snap it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? Simple straight. Oh. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Polly. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Gio Lotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now we got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. 
Christ. It gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? If Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. You, Michelle? What's it to you? A fella named Sam is one of your regulars. A lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tell him I'm sorry. Tell him I won't never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're gonna find you with two in the head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is gonna blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square.
we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a bee. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! <laughs> what have you done? Murder in the house of God! These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. That make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. When the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. Must have been from out of town, right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Nice dummy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your bowling bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Rella's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. And every time I went into Celieri's, that was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. 
There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes, so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together. Betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but... I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard. And every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy... You could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Come on, Tom! Hey, hey! Watch it, pal! Just dry it out. Sorry. You know this place? Oh, uh, yeah. We've done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks, and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it, Sarah, later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. 
She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. <laughs> That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your pecker get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. <laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what, we'll catch up with you. Buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Wow! Oh! It's me, Tom. Polly, what took you so long? We're looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts, the rest of face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. Your cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. Didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. Just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. <laughs> Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. Okay. survived worse. Sure. Sure we are. Oh, 
Christ. Tony and Donnie, too? Yeah. What a fucking massacre. How's Sam? Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Okay, we're here, Tom. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam, Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. doing here so late. Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. <laughs> the Doc's already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. We'll be fine. Okay. Hey. You did good tonight.
you're late, dinner's cold. Work. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. Why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Tom. Frank, the Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello was waiting for this. 
It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on, March. Alice, get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. got the books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. houses big yards white picket fences it's the american dream eh, tommy i suppose not for you no sir i like being closer to the business don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you there's more criminals out here than in the rest of the city combined are that why we're in the neighborhood in a way merle has got a dirty prosecutor on his payroll named watkins turns out he's old friends with galati the city councilor the same 
Morel let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You have names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in his villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just get him into the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to the theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor, and our stoolie says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's our guy. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie. Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. Si, u capisco. Tommy, if you bump into Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di Dio. Di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favori. What you can do. Shit. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza. The good stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for 10 years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Convert them. Load it up. Good to see you, boys. Boss, any word on a job I pulled with Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. Galati's got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah. And you're gonna love it. We make a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got a bar and everything. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south. And he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm. And he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place, took him to the diner around the corner to sober up. We get to talking. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries, and I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we gotta do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What do you think, Tom? We need to replace the Canadian. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. 
But you better not be playing grab ass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. Ollie, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <sighs> No, no! It's okay. Oh. What? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Uh, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. And his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the Moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested into no records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything, except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Wait. Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off on another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. It was a missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? 
Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. I have been looking forward to this all week. Where will you taste the cassata, Tom? Oh. Oh, more wine. Hey, more wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don't forget it. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother, she would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellently, bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny, oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? Sit, please. And to drink, a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, Benny, Benny, Benny. Okay. Enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the roof, Tom. Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> uh, for you? And for you. <laughs> Peppy! The meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Get down! <laughs> Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! Going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it. Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom. We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's jacked up with some dame in Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Boss, why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed <laughs> casket, Carlo. <laughs> You okay, Buzz? Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Is he still alive? I'm not sure.
Now we're sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah. It's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, they did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call them for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yep. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. What happened? I don't know yet. The crew we sent is dead. The restaurant's all shot to hell. Stop your crying. I have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the yeah, must have figured Carlo was there. God damn it. Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and their powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. Hard guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morello's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counts are still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way to the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom.
fuck are you? John, hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. It could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, yeah, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, no, no. Yeah, it's the car bomb. 
Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Get me out of here! We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed! What are you idiots doing? Kill that motherfucker! You just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For a Don to be feared, he's gotta be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. Morello wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the... Oh. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas. In a crowd. Before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed. And not just with seps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public. In front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it? Sure, boss. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. I don't do it. Come on. Let's make tracks.
See you on the other side, Marku. Watching you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. Old man, that's Don Popone, two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. That must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. Jesus. They're just kids. Now they're Eddie's soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking crash they're building. In 22... Papone drowns up at the lake. In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello agreed to divvy up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Well, their friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good? It was all of Morello's money if it couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me. Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I, I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, and the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adam are whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No, boss. No trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mind to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. 
He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. Okay, boss. Good. Now, we gotta talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. <laughs> That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust a hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations, and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull a third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you would be talking to someone else. Then get it done. Hey, Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat to the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. 
Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We gotta do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. <laughs> Christ. And kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. See if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You all right, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss has a job needs doing, we're doing it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. You're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I had to figure there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I don't even think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the dime? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. So he'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. I owe you that much. But Salieri? Well, he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get to daydreaming, you know? Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good. Where's my uniform? Huh? Uh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. I'm sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. 
<laughs> Come on. Well, 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 well. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Hey, Polly. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, a couple of these crates are shot to shit, though. How bad is it? It's the worst of it. Ah, it don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. You better cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up, he's up. All right. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, boss. Besides, ain't diamond supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. You got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? I'm nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. Six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep from shit in my pants. 
fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know, it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. But if we're doing this, we're waiting till things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd. You handle the manager. Threats don't work. Do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. See, a teller sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes. Maybe more. Before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing this. Stay where we can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wake him on it. sake. Sure. Ah! Oh. We gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home, celebrate with Sarah, come by my place in the morning, we'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep, is all. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what you do? Just feeling lucky is all. Got that right, champ. But I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That don't square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? 
That ain't it. You're moving. Even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Ellie, you don't even know why yet. Well, it must be it. Well, you better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Sam, it's me. It's Tom. Where's Polly? He's, uh... He's dead. I'm looking at him, slumped over in the hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh, God. I was... I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ. I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta uh, disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. Anything, pal. Uh, you want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll uh, see you soon. And, uh... Thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam. But I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up, and I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore? The girl you were sweet on? You're the one that let her live. Sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. 
Shame, Toe. Don Salieri? Really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal. But you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would've lived a lot longer if you would've just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy. about drug money is it pays for a lot of muscle put them down boys nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time see him you kill me now in the dawn she's never gonna stop looking for you but you let me live I'll tell Salieri you're dead you can disappear just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> what a dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri... He sent out a crew. And his family? <coughs> Christ. <coughs> you can't do it, can you? You always have a little voice in the back of your head. Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. We <laughs> sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife, four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the 
biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's gonna eat, right? Even dirty cats. Just being honest here, I mean, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not gonna make my wife a widow. I'm keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Celieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. A long time ago. In another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right. Because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. Turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. A better husband, a better father. better man now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness but it's also our greatest strength it gets us out of bed in the morning well, let's us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes, Mr. Salieri sends his regards. and go but family family is forever 